What's up ladies and gentlemen this is your friend Galactus here with the boss guide to all bosses in hard mode for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I will be doing commentary over these boss fights but I will not be talking too much. I will just leave you with a general strategy and some basic tips and tricks that you should keep in mind and rest I am just going to let the gameplay speak for itself. I am going to assume that you guys are much smarter and more mature than I am and maybe can do this better than I have done in these videos. Now you should know that I am using the Genji gloves and the goddamn rung for these for the builds that I am using but you don't have to use them and still if you want you can unlock Genji gloves pretty easily there is a guide up for that I will do the link in the description for you and also if you guys want to unlock the goddamn rung I have the guides for the all the brutal challenges and all the legendary challenges which I will also put a link in the description for you guys to check out and that will make things easy for you I believe for the party and materia setup, use Cloud, Yuffie and Aerith whenever you have the chance and just spam Brumal form. The Brumal form techniques works wonders and if Aerith has Genji gloves or Cloud has Genji gloves, you can just cast the spell and it will do a lot of damage and you can easily take those enemies out. And for materia, just check whatever the particular boss or particular enemy you are fighting is weak to. I will let it let you guys know in the description as well. So just use like suppose in a particular boss is weak to fire or ice, just use ice with MP absorb, ice with HP absorb, and ice with magic focus or magic efficiency or maybe swift cast, depending on how you want to use it. That way you have unlimited, uh, what you say, unlimited mana while using the casting your spells, and also you get some HP back. That is all, that is all the trick you need to learn. Uh, as for the gameplay, just put up an ATB ward on Yuffie and cast if haste on Yuffie. Then Yuffie uh, cast like Yuffie spams Brumal form. That's it. Yuffie spams Brumal form. She gets ATB for everyone and you can do anything you want then. One of the most important things you need to be on a lookout for is that most of these bosses have different phases. That is that after you deal a certain amount of damage, there is a cutscene or something that will trigger the next phase. While they are in between these phases, there will be points if you have the boss staggered or even if you don't have him staggered, there will be like a 3 or 4 second window where the boss will take no damage. So you have to really watch out for that. Like there is a stop icon or a no entry type sign that comes up on their health bar. Make sure you are not wasting your ATBs or limit breaks on them at that point. Because after that, they will go into the next phase and they will be technically much stronger or maybe hitting much harder. And if you are stuck without no ATB or if you waste your limit gauge on them before when they are not taking any damage, then you can be in a really tight spot. So it's not very well telegraphed. So you have to really, really make sure you watch out for that. Otherwise, you can be in serious trouble. So that's it guys final thing you guys should know is that this is actually the recording of my live stream that I have done I do not have a capture card right now I'm doing everything on my PS5 so there is some voiceover from the stream there which may lap over with this video and you might uh, hear some me say some stupid things or some weird things so please don't mind that and that's it also please do remember to like share and subscribe you can also support my channel on patreon become a patreon please show some extra support if you want to otherwise just show your love here that means a lot to me and as always wherever you are stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games i'm going to leave you with the rest of the boss fight now now we are fighting rude and alina this is right after the abzu boss fight but thankfully you get a chance to rest before it so health should not be an issue uh, only problem with this fight is that these guys are a lot more aggressive this time and they hit a lot harder. Uh, if they unleash their avalanche two step they will pretty much one shot your entire party or leave them at one health if you have reprieve active. Otherwise it's the same strategy. Uh, Rude is weak to wind and Alina is weak to lightning. Alina has that annoying uh, uh, grenade ability with which she peppers the whole arena and they can stun you and leave you vulnerable for the next attack. So just watch out for those and rest, just keep fighting them and trying to stagger them. Try to get one of them down, uh, especially Rude because he's more dangerous. But even if you get Elena down or anyone you get down, then you have your whole party to focus on the other person and you can, you know, kill them uh, pretty quickly. They can revive themselves. They like if Rude is left alive or if only Elena is left alive, they can revive their partner. But I think with the amount of damage you must be doing at this point you don't have to worry about it like I never faced that option where they were able to revive each other but I'm just letting you know that that is a possibility and that's technically all you need to watch out for.
We thought you'd be well suited to assist. Seeing as you have a history with the tokens again. What an idea! Somebody hit the moment of tussle began. It was plain that that turret was not only strong, but strategic. How so? He knows a range of techniques and when to use them. Let's do this. So are you saying you expect him to clean up? It's an easy work now. He won't make it easy for our champions. A formidable as he is, we still have the numbers. It's going to come down to whether or not we can trust that advantage. You mark my word.